Hello and welcome to the first part of this video tutorial series. This is Mark Labar at BlenderPassion.com and I'll be showing you how to create some of these explainer videos, the transitions, effects, rendering it out, and a bit of extra at the end. Let's get started. Alright, to get started we're just going to change from the Blender Render Engine to the Cycles Render Engine and we're going to change the material of the world to a bit of an off-white color. I find it easier on the eyes than a solid white. We're going to go from CPU to GPU and change it to 100% resolution and 30 FPS is what I like best. Now it's great to change these settings first before you do anything and sort of plan ahead or else you're going to run into many problems later. Sampling looks good, we'll change it later if we need to. Hmm. And for that final professional look, that just gives a little bit of extra. I go for a nice motion blur. Shutter speed will depend on the scale of the scene as well as the speed of the object, so we'll change that later. We'll go ahead and delete the light and the cube, and press Alt-R, Alt-G to reset rotation and location respectively on the camera. I'm just going to set it up a bit, give it some nice third compositional guidelines. And our scene's looking pretty good now. Good enough for the first part of the series. And I'll just go and head and save our blend file. If I can find the right folder. Oh, well I guess I'll just make one here. There we are, and a good name for this blend file. i just call it part one for now. I plan on shifting this workflow to OpenGLSL because of practicality and quicker render times, but I've yet to figure it out, and I'm very skeptical about any sort of motion blur capabilities OpenGLSL may or may not have. I'll definitely have supplemental tutorials once I have time to figure all this out. Until then, cheers! Take a look at the next part of the series, like, subscribe, and have fun making those explainer videos.